Weet je, jij kan niet uh, in het midden. Eens even kijken. Zoeken. We beginnen heel even in het Nederlands met Rick, ISPN. Uh, die vertaal ik even kort in het Engels, want we hebben ook Engelse mensen. En dan doen we voor de rest alles in het Engels als jullie het goed vinden, anders zijn we heel lang bezig. Rick, ga je gang. Goedemiddag Peter. Uh, je hebt een week de tijd gehad, ruim een week de tijd gehad om je voor te bereiden op deze wedstrijd. Hoe heb je dat aangevlogen? Door uh, eindelijk te kunnen trainen op dingen waarvan wij vinden dat dat beter zou moeten. Zoals? Uh, uh, ja, en dat ga je hopelijk morgen zien allemaal. Ja, maar was dat veel maar het werk is, aan de winkel? Nou, maar het is, het is duidelijk dat wij uh, daar heel veel balbezit gehad hebben. Dat we, uh, als je die wedstrijd helemaal teruggekeken hebt, hebben we gezien dat we heel veel mogelijkheden hadden om tot een kans te komen. En dat we uiteindelijk maar heel weinig echt grote kansen gehad hebben. En dat is dus omdat we met name, wat ik al zei, die laatste bal niet goed gespeeld hebben. Dus daar hebben we heel veel op proberen te trainen. Nu heb jij natuurlijk een bepaalde filosofie. Daar zit een bepaald risico aan. Uh, dat gaat dus niet altijd even goed. Maar ik heb wel het idee, die filosofie die wil jij vasthouden. Hoe moeilijk is dat voor jouw spelers om die filosofie ook echt te blijven volharden? Ja, maar ik vind dat zo'n onzin. Omdat dat die filosofie veel risico zal inhouden. Als je het niet goed doet, kan dat risico inhouden. Maar als jij heel verdedigend speelt en je doet dat niet goed, houdt dat ook risico in. Dus risico is er in voetbal altijd. In voetbal worden altijd fouten gemaakt. Dat, dat heb je met iedere tactiek. En je moet ervoor zorgen dat je dat risico zoveel mogelijk uitsluit. Zo weinig mogelijk fouten maakt. En als je die fouten maakt, het liefst niet in een gedeelte waar dat ook meteen gevaarlijk kan zijn. Ja, dus die bal mag af en toe ook gewoon een keer naar voren gepegeld worden? Nou, als het niet nodig is, niet. Nu uh, was vorig jaar natuurlijk de uitschakeling door Rangers een, uh, ja, een harde klap voor PSV. Dat heeft de hele seizoen als een grauwsluier over die ploeg heen gehangen. Merk jij ook iets van de spanning? Ja, ik was hier vorig jaar niet. Dus ik, ik mezelf merk dat niet zo, ook om mij heen niet. Natuurlijk weet ik wat vorig jaar de uitslag in de heenwedstrijd was... en wat met name de wedstrijd hier voor uitslag met zich meebracht. Maar goed, jongens, dit is het niveau waar wij op willen voetballen. Ja, daar hoort spanning bij. En, uh, en dat is alleen maar mooi. Nu zeggen ze wel eens uh, van ja, PSV moet toch van Rangers kunnen winnen. Het voetballende gedeelte bij PSV is veel beter. Maar soms heb je ook wel eens een club die er niet zo heel erg ligt... Is Rangers voor PSV een hele lastige tegenstander? Uh, ja, het is een lastige tegenstander. Uh, omdat we daar 2-2 gespeeld hebben. Uh, in het verleden was dat in Europa denk ik een hele goede uitslag. Uh, maar goed, ik merk bij jullie en ik merkte dat ook in de kleedkamer gelijk na afloop. Dat, uh, ja, dat we daar niet tevreden mee waren. En dat is denk ik alleen maar goed. Dat geeft aan op welk niveau wij willen voetballen. En uh, ja, dat zie ik alleen maar als positief. Ja, waar moeten jullie echt absoluut voor waken? Dat we niet te veel naar mensen zoals jullie luisteren. <lacht> en dat we vooral ons eigen plan trekken. Okay. Dankjewel. Dankjewel, Rick. Oké, okay, ik ga mijn best doen. Um, we had a week time to prepare. What did you do? We, did, uh, we trained to improve um, what we did before. Um, You had a lot of ball possessions, uh, but not enough chances. And we trained to do that better this time. Um, we have to try to avoid mistakes. Uh, and how about the tension? The question was, well, uh, the coach doesn't feel it. He wasn't here last year. Um, and Rangers is indeed a difficult opponent for us. We uh, played a 2-2 away game. Normally, that would be quite a nice result. Um And what to avoid was the answer. Didn't listen to guys. Don't listen to journalists. Well, <laughs> let's try to do it in English now. Rick, you have some question for uh, Olivier. Olivier, are you fully recovered? I'm recovered, but uh, of course today is the last training for us and I will make sure that uh, I'll be ready at uh, 100% for tomorrow. Yeah, does it feel good? Yeah, it feels good, but uh, today is uh, the last test for me. Yeah. Are you glad uh, PSV didn't play uh, last weekend? Yeah, of course it will, uh, it will help us to, to recover more. So, it, yeah, it's only, it's, we had a normal week to train, so we can prepare fully to be, to be ready for tomorrow. Yeah, what do you think uh, Rangers are really good at? Sorry? 
What do you think Rangers are really good at? What are their strengths? Yeah, we saw that uh, they were really compact. We had uh, we had the ball position, of course. They let us to play the ball, and we they try to to make some counter attack. Of course, they have some fast guys in the in front. And uh, but we are focusing on on ourselves and our style of uh, football, and uh, we just have to see that uh, with one mistakes, we just concede a goal. So we have to to make sure that at this level we'll we'll make no mistakes. About the style of playing football, how difficult is it? The philosophy of the coach. I will not say difficult, but uh, yeah, it's a style of playing what, what I like. We have a lot of ball position. We play, uh, try to play forward as as fast as possible. Try to create a lot of chances. Of course, that uh, our rest defense has to be perfect because we take some uh, some risk sometimes with uh, with a lot, a lot of guys in the in the in the open and off. But this is a football I like. Do you feel there's a big match coming up? Sure, sure. But all the games are are, are important. But this one, everybody knows that the that is the game that you have to win. And uh, the last uh, the last years the last years we were not enough good to to win this game. And uh, we have to show tomorrow that uh, we have the level to to play Champions League this season. Good luck. Thank you. Rick, ga je gang. Als de microfoon bij is, hiervoor. In English, please. Yeah, Olivier, then, first of all, uh, Olivier, yeah, you said uh, the, the last training is for you important, but it seems okay, uh, we heard, because yesterday you also trained. Yeah, sure, it was also a test yesterday. I only trained a few days, but uh, today for me is the most important. We talk with the coach already, then uh, we will take no risk. And uh, if I'm not uh, 100% sure that I can play this game, I will not do it. So for me, today is the, is the most important uh, training. Yeah. How difficult was the um, were the ending the final minutes last week in uh, in Glasgow because it seemed yeah it was a, a battle surviving. Yeah, of course we lost our two defenders in the last few minutes, so it's also difficult for for a team. But uh, yeah, the ninety percent of the game we had the ball, so at the end the last ten minutes was uh, of course difficult because we lost uh, two players. And uh, we had to manage with this, but yeah, sometimes in the, in the game we also have to fight for. They are, they are, they were pushing to score the goal in their own stadium, so we had to fight, and we showed that uh, we did it we did it right. So we have to yeah, we have to just continue and try to win this game. Yeah, Peter, how important is uh, Olivier for your game tomorrow, the game you want to play? I always like to have good players in my team. He is a good player, yeah. so. Therefore, he is important. But you count on him also tomorrow. Let's wait for today's <laughs> training. Um, yeah, uh, Rangers. Of course, um, uh, it was a it was a difficult game uh, last week, uh, especially in in the in the yeah the, the last minutes. Um, yeah, what what feeling did you bring to Eindhoven last week? Uh, you said um, yeah we're gonna we're gonna finish this game. We're gonna make it. Is that still the feeling? Yeah, I'm always full of confidence and still I think we have good players. We showed already this season that we can play good. We can play good together. We have individual players who can side the game. So, therefore, I have a lot of confidence. But on the other hand, we saw what is Rangers capable of. So, we have a lot of respect for the opponent and we must be really focused and play at 100% to finally win this game tomorrow. Yeah, because um, yeah, faults seem to be the key in the game. Eh? Last week also, uh, when you don't make mistakes, yeah, then it will maybe be a lot easier. But I think if both teams don't make mistakes, it will be zero zero. Yeah. So in games, there's always players who make mistakes. Sometimes we try to force players to make mistakes by pressing them, or and and yeah, this is what football is about. And don't make so many mistakes and if you make the mistakes try to make them in areas where it is not immediately dangerous thank you and good luck tomorrow Jeroen, you sit ernaast wil je ook okay <laughs> Peter, there's a lot uh, happened already between PSV and Rangers football is a mind game is that some, uh, some part of the game you're, you're, um, you're very busy with for in the preparation for this match is there some uh, mental coach involved in, in, in what happened in the past and how you should uh, act with this match? No, there's no mental coach involved. And, uh, 
but I told you already that I wasn't there last se season, so for me at all, is 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 not an issue. Uh, the more and more you guys talk about it, it maybe can come in the heads of the players. But for me, it's a complete different situation. Uh, PSV have a different coach, different some different players, and in Rangers it's the same. Um, for me, it's important that players learn from the mistakes they make, and we make some mistakes last week. If we do that better, it will help us a lot for the game that we're going to play tomorrow. And uh, so for me, it's it's not the same situation and it's not the same game. So it's a complete new game and it's not easy, but it's nothing for me, nothing to do with last season. Joep, you want also? Hope for the player. Hi. Hi. You're ready to play. Are you also ready to enjoy a game like tomorrow? Yeah, of course. I think uh, it's also why we play football, to play this kind of game with uh, at this level. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited for, for this game and uh, I, I try to enjoy every minute on the pitch. Your coach said that uh, games like tomorrow are, yeah, you have that is the nicest games you can play, the pressure, the atmosphere. Is that right? Yeah, it's right. Uh, we expect to more full stadium also with all the fans behind us. and uh, So no stress? No, it's uh, maybe sometimes a small stress, but it's a good stress also. It's helped us to make more, yeah, to be more focused and to, but yeah, for me, the most important is, of course, to, what you said, to, to enjoy these kind of games. What's changed with the man next to you since he's here seven weeks ago? What do you mean, what's changed? Well, Ruud van Nistelrooy was another coach than Peter Bos, no? Yeah, sure. I had uh, my last five years here, I had different coach almost every year, so... The last year for me was totally different because I was uh, I was out almost the whole season and I was just trying to yeah to be back at my at my level. This year is totally different for me because I start the preseason with uh, yeah a full a full body uh, and uh, I try to show to the coach that he can uh, yeah he can count on me every every single game. Is it true that <clears throat> the squad is a little liberated, feeling more free in their way of play instead of last year? I can't answer this. I have no idea. We, I feel that the players are free and liberate on the pitch, but I cannot, yeah, uh, I cannot compare it to to the last year. I, uh, Why? Well, you were there, no? Yeah, sure, I was there. But for me, is uh, of course, it's different different coach with different style of playing. So I don't feel that the players are more or less uh, liberated than, than last year. This, of course, we play free. We play our style of football. We enjoy it, and this is the, the only thing. So no stress tomorrow, but enjoy. Sure. Okay. Um, Peter, nog even. Ik vertel met liefde. How you keep all those? It's normal. End of August. Lozano is coming. The Italian press is saying. How you keep that away from um, from your squad tomorrow? Don't talk about it. So if I listen to you, because we also talk about stress, in a way we should not do press conference because we 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 make you feel like stressed. Yes. So. If you were the boss of PSV of the UEFA, we should not have press conferences. Absolutely. It would make my work a lot easier. Exactly. So, Peter, good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Son, een rijtje ervoor. Good afternoon. Uh, a question for Peter, for the coach. Um, there is a lot of uncertainty about the players. Um, uh, also, players are still here uh, and maybe going to leave the club. Did you talk ab with them uh, um, about this match, about the next days, about the pressure, about all that's what's around them? No, I only talk about Rangers. Also with them, because maybe it's going to be, for some of them, the last game. No, I don't talk with them about this issue. I talk with them also only about ranges. Okay, so there is no appointment about, uh, well, you played this, this match and hopefully we're going to make it to the Champions League and then after that... Um, no. Okay, also not about the club and the players? No. Okay, and uh, th this whole period with, with all these uncertainties and all those rumors and all those changes of squads, you said before, um, well, I'm used to it. Um, it's every year the same, uh, with every club the same. But what do you think in general of, of this, that this is, affects a lot of your work, I think? Absolutely. Um, it's not good. I think that if the season starts, it must be over. Um, it 
it's not helping the fans who bought jerseys from from the players. It doesn't help the players themselves. It doesn't help the the coaches or the players. So I don't think it's a good thing. Mm-hmm. But it's modern modern football. It's modern football. It's, it's modern. What do football. you mean? Yeah. Modern. Modern football. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, but but for you as a coach, because you're now almost two months here working, um, there has been some changes already, and there maybe are, uh, will some changes coming. Um, how does it affect you? No, I try to work with this these cir- circumstances. That means that I'm talking to my football director and see what the team needs. And also, if players, we want to 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 let them go. Of course, I talk with my f- sport director about this. But like I said, it's it's football. But in this week, we didn't communicate about that in any way because the game of tomorrow is too important for that. Okay, thank you, Yannick. The last. Peter, good afternoon. Um, did the uh, whole squad recover well? Of how, yeah, how fit is everyone? Yeah, from last week. Um, I hope the players recovered well, but like Oli said, that we have today one more training. After that training, I take the decision. Why the? Yeah, why, why are you not sure about everyone? Is there, are there more uh, doubts? Yes, there are more players. Uh, Patrick van Aanholt is training with us, so let's see how is how he is doing today. That's a big surprise. You thought it was. It took a long, a longer time. Yeah, but don't tell Rangers, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And more players? You, you, I, I was. Uh, no, but this is. Oli was important. Andre was important. Patrick trained with us, and the rest is okay. All right. Uh, last question: Are there little nerves for tomorrow in Dutch gezonde spanning? No. Every game there is a healthy tension. But like Oli said, it's something that you look forward to. Uh, these kind of games are the best games you can play or, or manage. And so let's enjoy and, and hopefully we win this game. Thank you. Marco, een rijtje ervoor. Peter, what kind of game do you expect? Will it be the same, similar, like in uh, Glasgow? Not exactly the same, because now we're playing in front of our fans, which is a big difference when you play in, in Glasgow. Uh, so this will be affecting the game, absolutely. Uh, but on the other hand, I still believe that tomorrow we will have more the ball than Rangers. It's about all about what we're doing with the ball once we have the ball. Is it also about uh, gaining the trust of the of the audience? Last year, the PSV started a little bit conservative uh, in the game, and and it yeah, the, the the atmosphere wasn't that good when the game was going along. Uh, is it is it winning winning the the, the trust of the of, of the audience to, no, to give a signal? No, I don't believe that. I, I I think this team already win the confidence of the audience uh, in the games we played at home, the friendly against Forest, the 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 home game against Stormgrads or, or even Utrecht. I think the fans know what they can expect from us, and they will see it tomorrow. And they can help you. Absolutely, it's a big difference, like last week. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, is it an option for you to play Jerry Schouten as centre back? Oh, I have a lot of options. You ah. was, I hope, a lot of options, and I try to choose the best. And did he make an impression in the in the practical game against AS Monaco? No, not an impression, but I know where he's capable of. Yeah. Okay. Oli, uh, your trainer was a little bit angry last week when you played a long ball too, too soon. Can he be very angry in halftime, during halftime? Watch out. Fair attention to the air, because... Fair attention. No, I think... I think Such a <laughs> picture. That, that's pressure now. <laughs> I think angry is not the words. Of course, yeah, he tried to, yeah, to help us with his, uh, with his support. And sometimes, yeah, you have to you have to push the players with the good way, and uh, yeah, he's his, this is his job to to help me and to help the team to be to be better. And sometimes uh, he has to to put the, the the voice level a bit higher. It, it has to be, and sometimes it works. Most of the time, it works. Um, what will be the key of winning tomorrow? What what has to be done different instead of what you did last uh, week? 
different, I will say, maybe the mistake we made because, like, like what we said before, the, we conceded this first goal with uh, with the mistakes, and uh, the key is to play our football. We show that uh, from the beginning of the season, uh, the most of the game we play with our style of football, it is uh, how we win the game, and we don't have to change so many things. We just have to continue to try to keep the ball as as much as possible, try to create some some chances and score some goals. Um, finally. The trainer uh, doesn't want to talk about any transfers or rumors or anything. How is that in the group? How is it for you? I will say it's the same for for myself. Uh, we, uh, this, your colleagues? Th this week, this week was so important to prepare this uh, this game of tomorrow that we didn't even talk about one minute. Thank you. Welcome. Yes, please. Hi, Oli. You were injured last year for last year's game. How was that for you, having to watch, sit in the stand and watch that game unfold? As, as PSV were, were knocked out of the Champions League? Yeah, it was difficult. I was home last year with my knee in the, in the shit position. So, yeah, of course, it was difficult to see my teammates in, in this bad position. But, yeah, it's, it's also given me some, uh, yeah, some power to, to, to make the difference to more and to, 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 yeah, to change this result. In, in terms of, you know, obviously, you guys don't want to talk about last year's game so much, but can you use it as motivation? Is it something that can inspire you to, you know, to... to Right, the wrongs of last last season. Maybe a bit. We can watch what we did last year. Bad is the only thing we can do. But we also we played the games against them one week ago, and we also we we also learn and uh, and work on the on this game. There were some reports in, in Scotland last week that Luke De Jong had taken his frustration out in the dressing room door. Uh, Ibrooks, did you did you see that? Did, oh, can you repeat? Sorry, I didn't. Know. Luke De Jong had um, he'd kicked the door. That was there were some reports in Scotland last week at that at half time. Did you did you see anything like that? No. No, to be honest, I <laughs> not true. No. Thank you. Any other question that I forgot? No. Thank you so much for attending. Thank see you. everyone tomorrow. <laughs>